Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation present ShapCap. The Breeders' Cup at Santa Anita Park is rapidly approaching. What a star-studded two days it should be. We've got the big ones. We've got California Chrome and Arrogate in the Classic. We've got all kinds of star runners throughout. And, of course, we have the Breeders' Cup this staff, which we've been previewing here on ShapCap. It's got Songbird, the three-year-old filly, looking to remain undefeated, taking on older runners for the first time. And we've got the two that have been banging heads out here in Southern California, Stellar Wind, the four-year-old, the old three-year-old champion from last year, just missing the distaff. And Beholder, the six-year-old mare that looks to get back to the Breeders' Cup winner's circle after having to scratch before last year's classic against American Pharaoh. While those three will be incredibly tough to keep out of the winner's circle, there are a few runners that could provide a value underneath, and who knows, maybe they could pull the shocker. Well, the fourth choice of the race as of seven days ago, was likely going to be Cavorting, but Cavorting has been retired to Stone Street Stables. She will not be in this race, so that makes the upset that much more light, unlikely. However, let's take a look at three runners that are most likely to run big out of the non-top three. First off, you have a four-year-old filly for Eclipse Thoroughbreds, Todd Pletcher, Carolina. Carolina has been consistent. She came. She's most recently ran in the personal ensign, was unable to beat Cavorting, but the Carolina does seem to be very consistent and has won at multiple tracks, not just in New York. She's won two races at Churchill. She does appear to be a little bit too slow on paper uh, in this spot, and Pletcher not very successful in his times in Southern California. However, Carolina is consistent, and maybe she can pot along for a minor piece. And then you have another one coming out of the personal ensign, and most recently one in the slop in the Bell Dame, and that's Dallas Stewart and Charles Fiske, Fipke's Forever Unbridled. This, uh, this four-year-old filly was my pick in the personal ensign and did disappoint a bit at Saratoga, but she does love the distance. She could sit a nice trip and could pick up the pieces late, not endorsing Forever Unbridled on top, but I do respect uh, her connections and her runner, and Stewart's had already in some big spots. Will be tough to win in Southern California against the top three, but who knows? Maybe she could pick up the pieces. And then probably the most likely of the, uh, the non-top three to hit the wire if all went perfectly and they all regressed or had tough trips, and that to me is I'm a chatterbox. I really liked I'm a chatterbox last year in the distaff, and while I was wrong, the rail, the rail draw was troublesome. She had a terrible uh, trip and also probably wasn't good enough despite me liking her and Larry Jones being high on her. Well, I'm a Chatterbox does have a race to go back to that makes her competitive in this spot. The Delaware Handicap earlier this year was a little controversial, but she ran big and a good uh, good time and whatnot at the mile and a quarter distance. Not saying I'm endorsing I'm a Chatterbox on top, but she does have the upside, has won half her races, so she does like getting to the winner's circle. I'm a Chatterbox, an interesting option to consider if you're going to play against the top three in this race. So it is a big reach to try to beat the top three on top. If you're playing horizontal wagers, you probably want to pick one or two of the likely favorites. But at least we got to look at a few of the other contenders in this spot. Maybe you can use them underneath like I suggested if you are going to put Songbird or Stellar Wind or Beholder on top. It, you know, they might run one, two, three, but we all know that it's likely that maybe one of them won't fire their best shot on Breeders' Cup Day. So there you have a look at the other contenders for the distaff. We're getting close. The post positions will be drawn before we know it, and it'll be the two biggest days of racing of the fall. The championships are here. Monster races. The Europeans will come in. It should be very interesting to see how these performers all do in Southern California, shipping in from the East, the Midwest, and Europe. I can't wait. But until then, good luck at the windows, and we'll see you again soon.